Give him honor. F you go at your love. Give him adoration. F you just a fool. Bless the King of Kings. Bless the Lord of Lords. Bless the ancient of days. Give him glory. F you go fool. Give him honor. F your love. Let him hear your voice. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be adored. Praise him for yourself. And then praise him. On my behalf, worship him, give him glory, give him adoration. There's no one like him. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Go, go, the fun alone. We bless you. I do bear the worry. I will come for you. You are worthy to be praised. You are not here, Latin. Accept our worship. King of glory, we worship you. May you be glorified forever and ever. Thank you for life, Lord. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you because there's no one like you. Thank you for ancient of days. May your name forever be glorified. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you because you always answer prayers. Thank you for prayers you have answered in the past. Thank you for prayers you will answer tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory be to your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shion. Thank you so, so much. I say, giddy, giddy.
Oh Lord, thank you. Olu wa eshu. Thank you. Eshu. Thank you. Eshu. In Jesus mighty name we have given thanks. Ni oruko nla Jesu ni ajo sun yi. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Amen. We give you Of days, we worship you. The unchangeable changer, we bow before you. The God of last year, we worship you. The God of this year, we bow before you. The God of our future, glory be to your name. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for all you've done for us in the past. Thank you for the Holy Ghost service. Thank you for 38 years of your faithfulness. Thank you for uncountable number of miracles, signs, and wonders. Thank you because we know you are not tired. As a matter of fact, we know that you reserve the best in the last. So we know our future will be better than our past. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, in a way only you can do it. Carry all of us. Carry our families. 
carry our burdens. Carry our businesses. Carry your church. And please carry our nations. Let our tomorrow be alright. And let your name be glorified. Daddy. Baba. Like I told you 38 years ago. I want a miracle for every member of my congregation. Let nobody live here without a testimony. All your children. All over the world, including those who, for one reason or other, just can't be here. Before the sun rises tomorrow, let everybody have a testimony. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, shake hands with one or two people. Tell them. You won't go home without a testimony. Amen. Oh, ni lo lai ri eri ti e, amen. Without a testimony. Oh, ni lo lai ni eri. And then you may please be seated. Let you know ejo e ti a joko. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Daddy. I think they just want to announce that I've just turned 82. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. None of you will die young. Amen. 
And you will be greater than I. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now all children of March. <laughs> Remain standing and shout hallelujah. My Father, my God, I commit all your children born in the month of March into your hands. March is the third month of the year. Three is the number of the Trinity. The number of power. The number of the Almighty. Number to your Lord, O Lord, to marry. So, Father, in your name, I decree. Need to remember, Baluru, ko ini mo pa ashe. Concerning this, your children born in the month of March. Need pa ti mo pa omo re mo yiti abido shuketa. Let their miracles be in triples. E teki she yano wako jani meta meta. God the Father favor them. God the Son favored them. God the Holy Spirit favored them. Give them a brand new beginning of triple testimonies of everything that is glorious. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So, children of March, shout another hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. And you may please be seated. Hallelujah. And you may please be seated. Hallelujah. As of 7.30 p.m. Hallelujah. A number of children born during this special legal service. Yeah, we must have been in on this particular time. We must. On the camp here. We know we left Bagoi. Stands at sixteen. One day, Mary Diloku. Eleven boys. How many girls? How many? Five girls. Obiri Maru. Let the boys shout, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the girls shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tomorrow, by the grace of God, by 11 a.m., there be ministrations of laying on of hands here. Yeah? Yeah, here as well as in the old auditorium. Those who want hands laid on them for one thing or the other. Including baptism in the Holy Spirit. If i the Senior pastors will be here and on the other side to minister to you. Tomorrow evening, by 7 p.m., there will be Holy Communion service and anointing service here. So you're all welcome. Next month, April is our special month for our children. When we 
when we anoint our children at least once a year for special protection against forces of darkness. We will not only be anointing the children, we will be anointing their parents too. And make sure that you come early because from experience the moment the devil discovered that we were doing that he had a way of causing heavy traffic jam everywhere to prevent the children from arriving. So you come early. As soon as they finish in school, bring them. They have enough room to play around till the evening. The theme that God has given us for next month it's very, very informative. It is called Shielded by Fire. So I'm looking forward to what the Almighty God will do concerning us as well as our children. Yesterday, we, we had an extraordinary night. I know some of you, many of you were not around. But God visited us in a very marvelous way through our children. The preaching were definitely beyond their age. And I've prayed about it. And the Lord has asked me to suspend my series that I have been doing on Sunday, Sundays uh, afternoons. But I believe that for four Sundays in a row we should take one of these children and let them repeat. We pray for us Sunday no. Even those of us who are here will be glad to hear them one more time. Awati awa gan la no. Inu wa odun pe atun pon wa le kan si. My former driver is the one who gave the first testimony. Awa ko mi akoko ni gba ti mo de igba se ran se oni eni to koko jeri ta koko yen. <laughs> He's now an elder oh. in the church. And of the various testimonies, he was trying to rush over. The Lord ministered to me to tell the first one clearly. Some of you have had it before. We are traveling to a lorry. And there was this narrow bridge over a very deep river there. I can only take one vehicle at a time. So when you get to that narrow bridge, if a vehicle is already on the bridge, you park and wait. Talk about it. Valori, a fara yes, a bridge. I want that to do ro. Can you go down? So we got to the bridge. A day be a fara yi. And we were on it already. Ati valori. 
And the trailer was coming from the other side. Oko ajagbe o wa nbo lai odikeji wa. I didn't see us. Boya ko ri wa ni o. Or his break couldn't hold. Tabi janu re ti jadanu. It just kept coming. O sa nbo ni tara at high speed. Be lu ere light e da se ro. And the brick can only take one vehicle at a time. Oko nye afara yi oko konsu shulukba le kon. So we had a choice. I don't die young. Either to die by head-on collision. Upe boya ka kuni ba peki oko nye ka sorry marawa. Or if we swerve either way, we will go into the deep river there and die. So Abika, you was a girl to tap with a girl, see, Cassie, Kondo, do Kapusino, me. I was no time to pray a long prayer. Go see a cocoa latte, but do not do repete. I was only time to shout a name. Oh, a cuckoo, Kongwa, Lati Daruko, Consuelo. So we shouted. Ni our kibe. He shouted, I shouted. We met the trailer in the middle of the road. And somehow we passed. He didn't wait, he was just. Going. When we got to the other side of the bridge, we were so shaken that the driver parked was shaking. Fortunately, he didn't look back. Because I was shaking myself. I was By the time he spoke, I've come down. He said, Daddy, what happened? I said, God expanded the bridge. He said, wonderful. And all the way to Ilori, he kept on saying, wonderful. I said, that's his name. <sighs> you know, That I'm alive today is because his name is Wonderful. Lord wants me to tell somebody here tonight because you came very soon. Like, like, you know, you'll be shouting Wonderful. Wama kigbe lojo jumo iyano iyano iyano. If you are that fellow, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go back there, you won't let me know. Then go cookie hallelujah to relay. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shew. Now. Listen to you. Exodus chapter 19. You were Exodus. Ori koko di logun. And uh, while you are opening your Bibles, look at your banshee belly. I think we should give the Almighty God a big round of applause for the choir. Ejapa, te won la fun Oluwa, fun awon akoriwa. They have never disappointed. Never, not once. 
very just wonderful choir. I want going to And then give a round of applause for those who have spoken before me. Yes, thank you. But I want that one. I want to. Want to do that. Thank God that you had used them mightily. I do. 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 I and thank God that uh, if the devil comes knocking at your door, you know what to say. What will you say? What if death comes knocking? You know the meaning of that? Yeah, tomorrow. I will see you next year. Oh, All right. Exodus chapter 19. We Exodus ori kokan I will read from verse 1. Ma kala ti ese kini. And then jump to verse 3. Ma to si ese keta. And go to verse all the way to verse 6. In the third month, which month? Oshuketa. Which month is this one? Oshuola <laughs> wanwe. In the third month, Ni Oshuketa. Let's jump to verse 3. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. Moses, you have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Israeli. My children who spoke yesterday. I've done a lot of work. So they have made my task easy. This Once it take it, share the micro run rule. Alei, if they find who the ego is, what is suffering? Why anything? It did not share. It did. It did. Then we are not talking of ordinary bird. Ah, okay. She ni pati e ye lasan la nso ni pare. We're talking about the Almighty Himself. And so ni pati on long road lo di marifunre. I've spoken to you about how strong the ego is. Want to soften what be a year did not she need a bad at I've spoken to you about how far the ego can see. Want to go up me, baby. It did not she leave you on a GG to do a shot. Para para. I've spoken to you about how fast the ego can be. Once it's often what be oh she lay yarato. That's it. That's it. That's it. I've spoken to you about how long it takes before the ego becomes tired. I've spoken a lot about the ego and the ego's wings. 
That's why we need to hear their sermons again. But what I want to discuss is that we, we just go back to the history of the children of Israel. And see what led to the statement that God has made here. To let you see clearly that this theme is very prophetic. God has somebody in mind. Just someone special. Someone peculiar to God. And that's why he arranged this meeting. And I believe that that fellow will know himself or herself. And within the next one hour, by the grace of God, that fellow would have traveled a long distance. Amen. When God was about to bring the children of Israel through himself on eagles' wings, he would hear him talking to Moses in Exodus chapter 3. He told Moses, he said, Moses, the, the reason I'm come is because I want to see the children of Israel. I have seen their suffering. I have seen their sufferings. I have heard their cry. I know what they are going through. So I have come to deliver them. Tonight, the first thing God is going to let you realize is that at long last he has noticed you. Because when we talk about seeing There is ordinary sin, there is noticing. In John chapter 5, from verse 2 to 9, John 5, 2 to 9, there was a crowd by the pool of Bethesda. Bethesda. God noticed only one person. Somebody who had been there for 38 years. The Bible said when Jesus Christ saw him, he noticed him. And when God notices you, your life can never remain the same. He noticed a man who had been sick for 38 years. And 
that day that man was healed. In Mark chapter 2 from verse 1 to 12. Mark 2 from verse 1 to 12. When they brought that man who was paralyzed from neck downwards through the roof to Jesus Christ. The Bible said Jesus saw their faith. He saw the invisible. They carried that man in, he walked out. In John chapter 9, verse 1 to 7, John 9 from verse 1 to 7. I was a man who was born blind. I've been blind for 40 years. I Jesus passed by. He saw him. He noticed him. Before the day was out, that man was singing a new song. That man was able to say, whether Jesus is a sinner or not, I don't know. But one thing I know, whereas I was blind, now I see when God notices you, things change. And you know what? We are he has noticed somebody here tonight. Maybe he noticed you while you are worshipping him. Because the Bible says he's looking for worshippers. Somebody had worshipped God more than others. And God had noticed. Maybe he had noticed you while you were praying. But Maybe he had noticed you when you were giving your offering. But when he notices you, when he notices you, Things can never be the same again. The Almighty God has noticed someone and is going to notice another one. I told you this story. In the first auditorium, I was in the auditorium and it was time to pray. And I said everybody should be praying to God. And so I closed my eyes too because I need help from God. Suddenly God said to me, son, open your eyes. I almost told him, Lord, I'm praying. When I opened my eyes, he pointed at a woman in the crowd. Oh, one now, do we open a similar hero? Wet with tears. He said to me, Go and tell her, weep not. Only he lost often, we pay, come as a woman. I went there, Molobe, tapped her by the soldier, Moa for what toll it. I said to her, Moa so fun, we pay. My daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy meaning so weep not. And suddenly, Lo Gigi, her eyes brightened up. Oh, Jue, why ye pada? I didn't know why she was weeping. I just did what God asked me to do. Musa so she told in so the following year, Lord Tele. 
There was a group of people lined up before me. And one by one, I was attending to her, to them. And one by one, I was attending to her, to them. Then it was the turn of this woman. He says, sir, you don't remember me? I'm sorry, ma, how many people will I remember? She said I was the one who was weeping. And your God told me to stop weeping. She said for years I was barren. And I came to that meeting with a threat from my father, uh, from my in-laws that if I don't give their son a child within a year, they will kick me out of the house. said that's why I was weeping. I looked at her. I saw on her right hand she was carrying a baby, on the left she was carrying another baby. And I said, May I prophesy to someone tonight? Stop weeping. Amen. Because God has noticed you. You may want to write down your prayer points. Of course, prayer point number one is you want to thank the Almighty God that we are able to make it tonight. And then your prayer point number two. Father, Baba, when you are calling others, don't pass me by. Don't pass me by tonight. Notice me. Notice me. See me. Notice me tonight. See me. Lale yolua. The second thing that God said. Eke jiti olorun so. When after He said, I've seen the children of Israel. I've seen what I've seen the, the, how the Egyptians were treating them. Number three, he said, I have heard their cry. Even if God is going to carry you on eagle's wings, he can only mean that he had heard your cry. When God hears your cry for help, He sends help. In Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52. Mark 10, 46 to 52. But me was cried. But me And God heard him. Several people tried to shut him up. But he kept on crying. Until God had him. I believe God is about to hear the prayer of somebody tonight. Amen. I believe God is about to hear the prayer of somebody tonight. Amen. I God is about to hear the prayer of somebody tonight. Amen. I believe God is about to hear the prayer of in 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to 7, 2 Kings 4, from verse 1 to 7, there was this widow who was destitute. The creditors have said, if you don't pay within 24 hours, we sell your sons. I want you to correct So we tell you, your She cried. Okay, God had. By the end of the day, 
the creditors were put to shame. In Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Jeremiah 33, verse 3, God says, if you cry, I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things. You see, when God hears your prayer, He responds by showing you how mighty is. He uses all his might to respond to you. Unfortunately, it's not every time people cry to him that he hears. It's not every time people because he says you must call on the Lord while he's near. Fortunately, he's near tonight. And when you cry to him tonight, he will respond. Some of you remember the story? Of the man who was a cripple, and, and his friends carried him here. And the old auditorium, the crowd was many. And so, by the time they arrived, miracles were already happening around the altar. And his friends dropped them. At the back of the auditorium, they told him, we've, we've already brought you here. We can't carry you through the crowd. They dropped them. And he cries to God. God, I'm here. They've dropped me here. But I know you know I am here. And God had. And immediately God spoke to me from the altar. God said, There's someone there. Who said, God, you see me here? God asked me to tell him, Yes, I've seen you. And immediately, his leg straightened out. He was able to get up. He was beginning to dance. When the program was over, his friends came to look for him where they dropped him. They couldn't find him there. So he tapped them from behind. Are you looking for me? I saw one here tonight. By tomorrow morning. It's not where they left you that they will find you. You want to write down your prayer point number three? Let it be like my own usual prayer. Father, Baba, if you are going to answer two people here tonight, let me be one of them. Let that be your next prayer. If we're going to hear and answer two people here tonight, let me be one of them. 
Then the third thing that happened before God sent the eagle, before God sent the eagle, is that he told Moses, I have seen, I have heard, and I know, I know their sufferings. The Almighty God wants somebody to know tonight that He knows what we are passing through. He knows what are your problems. He knows what are your burdens. He knows the battle you are fighting that you cannot possibly win alone. And whenever God knows you, what you are going through, after noticing you, after hearing your cry, He intervenes. Oh man, that was in Sheni. In Mark chapter five. From verse 20 to 20. Uh, from, from verse 2 to 20, rather. Mark 5, 2 to 20. Do you know the madman of Gadara didn't pray? When he saw Jesus coming? Before he could say anything. He saw Jesus. He fell at his feet. By the time he opened his mouth, the demons inside began to talk. They didn't allow him to ask for help. But Jesus knew what was going on. And he intervened. Tonight, the God you have been serving all these days, the God who knows the problems you can't even share, is going to intervene. Amen. God knows when your case is beyond human help. In a situation like that, he pays you a visit. In Genesis 18, from verse 1 to 14, Genesis 18, 1 to 14, Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord has me to tell someone. I will deal with your enemies head on. In Genesis 18, 1 to 4. Genesis 14. God knew that as for Abraham and Sarah, their case had gone beyond human help. It was going somewhere, but he stopped in front of their tent to rectify their situation. God knows that there are some of us our situation we defy even the faith of the pastor. In Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10 Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10 
Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10. Ezekiel ori keta dini ogoji ese kinide kewa. When God has Ezekiel, da ti Olorun bere lowo Ezekiel. Can this dry bones live? She awon egugu gbe yi le tun pada ye bi. The great man of God said, God only thou knows. Okunrin agbura Olorun ni eyan Olorun yi so pe Oluwa iwo nikan lo mo. The God knows. Lo to Olorun mo. He knows what you are passing through. Even if your problem is beyond what any pastor can handle. God will intervene tonight. I told you the story of a woman who was barren for several years and the pastor had been praying and praying one day the pastor said woman what's your case because every other barren fellow I prayed for they are already rejoicing with their children and the woman said oh when I was a student, I became pregnant. And I tried to abort. By the time I got to the hospital, to save my life, the doctors took out my womb. The pastor said, You mean you have no womb? And you've been asking me to pray for you to be pregnant. She said, Pastor, you are the one who said with God nothing shall be impossible. <laughs> Pastor said, I see. Thank you. From that day onward, when the pastor sees, I mean, saw her coming, the pastor would dodge. One day the woman caught the pastor. Dodging her. And she turned her face away from pastor to God. And and cried unto God. I'm coming to you directly now. Not, not through the pastor. Help me. That night she had a dream. She was standing naked in the dream. And a huge man came in through the door. Holding the skin of an animal. She was so frightened she couldn't move. The man got close to her. And wrapped the skin of the animal around her waist. And disappeared. By the following day, she woke up already menstruating. But the last time I think we heard from her, she already had five children. When your case is beyond any human assistance. The God who knows we send help. Amen. And help is coming the way of somebody tonight. Amen. So you write down your next prayer point. And say, Father, we pray, Baba. You know all about me. Oh, Mong Boboni Ba me. Intervene. And that was a dasher of me. Intervene. Dasher of me. And then the next thing that happened. Oh, God, to tell it to Shelley. 
As I go now told Moses. Okay, I've I've seen. Motiri. I've heard. I know what's going on. I have come to deliver. When God has noticed you and had your cry, knows what you are going through, He brings deliverance. And the Almighty God is bringing deliverance to somebody tonight. Occasionally, my children will say, The one who says the proper amen, God, are trying to develop. The deliverance God brought to Israel was a violent one. In Exodus chapter 12, from verse 1 to 36, Exodus 12, from verse 1 to 36, before he could carry them on eagle's wings, he subdued their enemies. He gave them something that they cannot toy with. In Yoruba land, when they want to say that your enemy is uh, subdued, they say the fellow has been given something that he will worship. Giving him a problem so big he won't have time for you. The Egyptians had to beg the children, please go, or we are all dead. God made a promise in Isaiah chapter 49. From verse 24 to 26. Isaiah 49. Isaiah From verse 24 to 26. God made a promise. He said, even the lawful captive shall be set free. He said, if, if those who had held you captive would not release you, he said, he would give them their own flesh to eat. He would give them their own blood to drink. Thank you, Father. Amen. I see a crowd moving towards the house of somebody here. See one lossily in your And they were shouting as they were going. Once in King Baby once in law. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, if you are the one, let me hear you shout your own hallelujah now. Yeah, you got you, okay, hallelujah, yeah. When God wants to deliver, and the enemy is reluctant, he uses force.
Some of you probably heard it, the story. A man came here from Abekuta with his wife. He said, everything he ever tried to do, no progress, no success. He has discovered that the wife is a witch. She's the once stopping his progress. So he has brought her for deliverance. The woman was very angry. Don't mind him, sir. It is his mother who is a witch, not me. I mean, she was very angry. So I said, Please don't let us quarrel. I mean, don't mind your husband. Let's do it this way. If you are not a witch, everything in your life will just keep on getting better. That's my prayer. But if you are a witch, I'm going to bind the demon in you. God had revealed to me that it was a snake inside her. You, you dare not say that because if she sues you, the snake will not appear on X-ray. I said, Ma, I'm not saying you are a witch. Or... But do you agree that we bind any evil force that is in you, we, just in case? Don't be able the thing inside won't be able to go out to feed. It won't be able to go out to excrete. So if it is bound, it will be eating you from inside, excreting in you. But then, of course, I mean, since you are not a witch anyway. So he said, yeah, go ahead, pray. We prayed. By the time the husband brought her back, she had become almost twice as big or even more. Then she was ready for deliverance. Every force that has been troubling you because God wants to take you on eagle's wings. God will deal with them violently tonight. Number five. Oh, uh, your prayer for number four. Is our father? Whatever method you have to use to deliver me. Oh, 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 Whatever method. Oh, no, no, no. Just set me free to Oh, Timo, money, pay more fair boy to me, Silla, lay. Number five. Coco Caro. When God finally picks you up on Eagle's wing, think about your little bag, Bill, Lori, yay, D. Look, we will go. It takes you to a point where you are beyond the reach of the enemy. And after he picked up the children of Israel, 
after delivering them violently. Lẹyin to ti fi pa da won ni de to pa won la. And they try to follow them. Won wa pe no won pe kan wo tele won. By the time we got to Exodus chapter 14. You got to my day no we Exodus ori kenin la. Exodus 14. Exodus ori kenin la. From verse 1 to 28. Ese kini de ikeji di ni ogbon. Moses has spoken the with the mind of God to them. On Moses is so e pinu Olorun fun won. He said the enemies who have seen up to tonight. We I want that they retreated the akoko yi. He said you will never see them again. Eh o ni ri won mo o. When God picks you up on eagle's wings. Nigbati Olorun ba gbe o soke lori iye idi. It takes you to a position so high that you are far, far beyond the touch of the enemy. Uh, my children have dealt with that yesterday. They talked about you being so high that from there you'll be dealing with the enemies below. You pay what I do beg, get a jet pay book and what tire won't is a let in salad, but when you are my what you are my woman, I took it really. So I'm not going to waste time on that. I'll probably just move on. We are this by what I could call really. I can't tell what you need. I just give you just one illustration. Marcus, we are like here, a company again. A couple came to church at the booty meta. I won't delay, can was he delay just to walk to meta. And after some time, we were seeing only the brother, the sister wasn't coming. And we followed up. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, show. I can hear somebody here tonight. Very soon, like your shouting will be at last, at last, at last. I had to interrupt my story because that one is more important. So we followed up. Sister, why are we not seeing you in church? And your husband is coming. She's getting happier by the day. She said, Your husband since I started coming to your church, I could no longer fly at night. Oh, ah. And I decree to somebody here tonight if there's any witch in your family, from tonight onward, they won't fly again. Amen. <laughs> So he sees, Ori, he hears, Omo, he knows, Omo, he delivers violently, Omo, he brings you to a level where enemies can't touch you anymore. And number six, Ekefa. It causes you to reach your your goal speedily. I'm more we pare ni kakan. In Genesis chapter forty one. Genesis, ori kakan le ni ogoji. One of my children referred to it yesterday. You can even know how many talk as he no la no. Genesis forty one from verse one to forty four. Genesis, ori kakan le ogoji ese kini de keri le ogoji. A slave who was a prisoner was carried by the eagle's wings 
in less than 24 hours to the throne. Just carried speedily. God can grab you from the very, very lowest point on earth and put you on the throne. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, Samuel Kini Ori Keji. For Samuel chapter 2, Samuel Kini Ori Keji. Verse 8. He says he can pick a beggar from the dunk hill. And cause him to begin now to dine with kings. Or maybe you are not 100% on the, on the ground. Maybe you are already great. It's just that he knows you are not complete. Your joy is not full. He can grab you and move you from great to complete. So that your joy suddenly becomes full. In 2 Kings chapter 4, I want back it, you can Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Daddy says, That is a week. I have surprised doctors before. I have turned doctors' reports before. But if I want to yari, he said, "My son, allow me to do it again tonight." Stop your sermon for five minutes. And let the people worship me. So, are you ready to cooperate with them? Will you stand and just worship God and see him tearing doctor's reports? Will you please just go ahead and worship the Almighty God and, and give Him glory and give Him honor? Will you go ahead and just sing unto Him and dance to Him and magnify His holy name? Will you please just go ahead and do that and do that? And, and let him do what he alone can do. Worship him. Sing unto him. Think of your own song. Your own song of worship, your own song of praise. Magnify his holy name. Just go ahead, worship him. Let him destroy reports of the doctors. Let him cancel the report about you having cancer or, or high blood pressure or, or asthma or diabetes. Let's give him the opportunity to do what he alone can do. Oh, we bless you, Lord. You're holy. Forever you are God. I worship you, my God. I magnify your holy name. There's no one like you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord.
Let yokes be destroyed, Lord. Heal the sick, my Father and my God. Do what we alone can do. Turn the tide against the enemy. Prove that we are the Lord of hosts one more time. Let your people know that you are the Almighty. Move, O oh Lord. <laughs> oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep on doing what we alone can do, my Father and my God. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my Father, my God, blessed be your holy name. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Ramo shekerele rama kakoto ronde moko shanta. Ikekere moko ronde remo koronde ramo koko shekere moko tonde rama kachanda. Ikekere moko koronde rama ikekere moko shekere moko koro moko shanta. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my Father. Hallelujah, God. Glory be to your holy name. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I praise you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Jesus, mighty name, we are. When you are just saying, let me hear you shout a really, really big hallelujah. Please be seated. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, a show. I did ask me to tell you that the nicking so far that the testimonies that will come as a result of tonight will be more than we have ever had before. We pay a little man wa ni pa se isi ale yi yo ju e yike iti ati kose ni lo. Thank you, Daddy. Well, I, I, I was saying that God can pick you from great to complete. In Second Kings chapter four, <laughs> the Now listen to me very carefully. The Lord says there's someone here right now. Very soon. Very soon. Like you will come to me. You will come to Daddy Gio. And say, Daddy. Daddy. This breakthrough is more than I can handle. 
Is there any major project in the church that I can take care of? In there, he said, "Lag, come below, walla wati, ninu ijo, ti moli, joju koki nche." This breakthrough is more than I can handle. I aluyo yi oju ti moli daklo kajulo. I would love to receive that, but uh, <laughs> he said it's me. They will be coming to to ask. Daddy, lah, one vafe ke uja one la one bali suba to do kwa don one landlord. How many of you believe that that can ever happen to you? Amen. Me lo lo ba gope iwo di olorun ba we ni. Hey, if you believe that one, let me hear you roar, hallelujah. Ba je wo ni le u ke hallelujah. Anyway, maybe he doesn't want me to tell the story about the Shunammite woman. You know the story of the Shunammite woman. Anyway. The story of the Shunammite woman. She was already great. But she was barren. In a single day, a barrenness was taken care of. And our joy became full. A lot of you are already great. And there's one thing that is not allowing your joy to be full. In the name of the one who sent me. As a result of tonight's meeting, very, very soon, like your joy will overflow. So when God carries you on eagle's wings, let me just make this one more point. It causes you to have sweatless success. Oh, my funny, I say your real lag. Oh, before that, your prayer point for the last one. Coco, a bad run, you fool, and Taco Cosaju is our father. Oh, new quick baba. Let my joy be full. Let my joy be full. Point number seven, when he carries you on eagle's wings, it causes you to have sweatless success. You can succeed after a lot of struggles. He plays a course on Adam. Oh, Adam, So in the sweat of your face, that shall you eat. But when God carries you on eagle's wings, you succeed without sweating. <laughs> You reach your goal effortlessly. Okay, like I said before, you were somebody wanting to go to Ibadan, you, you can trek from Lagos to Ibadan, you will arrive. You can even ride a bicycle, you will arrive. You can even ride a bicycle, you can even ride a bicycle, you will arrive. You can even ride a bicycle, you but when God carries you, it's like traveling in an aeroplane. You arrive. What Fresh. 
no sweat at all. You know, I believe sincerely that as a result of what God will do in your life tonight, your colleagues will soon be coming to ask you, how do you do it? When the children of Israel were going to overcome their enemies by the Red Sea, Moses said to them, just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, from verse 1 to 30, Second Chronicles 20 from verse 1 to 30, three kings came against Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat did not fight at all. Jehoshaphat and he won because the enemies destroyed themselves. In 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to the end, 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to the end, when the man of God prophesied, that be within 24 hours, food will be so plenty, nobody will want to buy. And the people didn't fight. They won without a fight. One of the stories in the Bible that I like so much. Well, that Solomon was going about his own business in the palace. Just having a nice time. And uh, one fellow was declaring himself to be king. Unknown to Solomon. Solomon and then there was a little politics in Palam, in, in the palace. The next thing Solomon saw was that he has become king. He didn't do anything about it, he just became king. He succeeded without a sweat. The name that's above every other name. I decree to somebody here tonight. Even before you get to the door, it will open unto you. It will open unto you. Okay, thank you, Lord. Amen. What is it that? God requires from you. Oh, you may want to add your next prayer point. I said, Father, from now on, in my life, no more sweating. I want sweatless success. What is it that God wants from you? Number one, faith. You see, because when the ego comes, 
spreads his wings. I say, come on, climb on, climb on me. How you react is important. You may say, uh -uh. <laughs> uh, leave. What are you trying to do? You want to carry me into the air? No, oh, leave oh, me on the ground here. Oh, oh yes. So I will not be able to do it. I will not be able to do it. The Bible said the just shall live by faith. You know, it took a lot of faith for the children of Israel to pass through the Red Sea. The Bible said the water was a hill on their right, it was the and a hill on their left. The belly so we will be not that be okay, low water. At you, kill or won't see one. Moses said, Now go forward. Moses of Moko, I tell you what you they could have said, Eh, one is so be ha. Go into the middle of this thing. Carlo, Larry, you kill me, Miji. Ah, what if the water comes back? Go to Bawa Padas, do Bawa Malenko. But they move forward by faith. So, but what is what you need by Babo? God will require faith from you tonight. Because the Bible said the judge shall live the, by faith. The Bible said the judge shall live by faith. You all know the story of my coming here. When I ask God for a house, and He says He has promised, He's decided to build me a city. I say, brought me here. And she, we bought a little more than twelve acres, hectares here. And He said, "That's the city." We alone was we learning here. At the headquarters of highway robbers. Among pythons and poisonous snakes. No electricity, no water. But he said that's the city. And I jump by faith. We we are where we are now. By faith. And we haven't arrived yet. We are going further still. And Lord, see what you see. You're going to need faith tonight. Because the judge shall live by faith. And of course, the second thing he will need from you is a determination that from now on, for your own sake, you will live a life of holiness. Because the ego that wants to carry you is the holy one of Israel. Only an enemy of Israel. He won't allow any unclean thing to climb him. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hello, I must tell somebody. Hello, really, King Safu, and you come. You have suffered. Very heavy losses. We pay Oti Padano. I want to to ship Pataki. He asked me to tell you. Only so far, your remnant. We pay a to shakure shall soon become massive. Yo, you la to beg, eh? To la milaka. I think I can say amen to this one. Amen. 
Because God asked me to tell someone. What the enemy planned for your embarrassment. Shall turn out to be your greatest testimony. Yo wadi eri la re eyi to to bi julo God said in first Peter chapter 1 Olorun so ninu we peteru kini ori ikini from verse 15 to 16 ese ike dogun de ikerin bi logun first Peter 1 15 to 16 peteru kini ori ikini ese ike dogun de ikerin bi logun He said as he who has called you is holy we gege bi eni ti o pe yin ti je mimo so be ye holy in all manner of your conversations. For it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. The reason he wants you to be holy is so that you can climb on the Holy One. So that he can carry you. I know that my son had made an altar call. And several of you had given your life to Jesus. And I'm extremely happy. But there might be some of us here who didn't decide that. Ah, holiness is for your, for your own good. Not for God. He wants you to be holy so he can carry you. And there are some of us that we claim that we are already born again. And we are still living in sin. Uh, you are not deceiving the pastor. You are deceiving yourself. And you are cheating yourself. So if, so if you know you are not living holy, I'm giving you one more chance. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. God has nothing to lose. It's the sinner who is going to be the loser. I close with this story that you know very well. Woman came. Barren. And said, I, I've heard that when I come to you and you pray, oh, oh I will become pregnant. Rewind the first auditorium. She came, we prayed. The following year, she came back and said, what's happening? Everything they said will happen. I lay hands on me. I even fell under the power. And God asked me to ask her. And I asked her trembling. But she was an important looking woman. She said, I'm sorry, it's only God who said I should ask you. Beside your husband. How many boyfriends have you? And she says six. You have six, six concubines apart from your husband. And you want a miracle from my God? From the only one of Israel? What you need is a magic, not a miracle. You are here tonight. 
You want to ride on the eagle's wings? And you know that you are still living in sin. When you hear others testify, you will say, I was there that night. How come nothing happened to me? So I beg you. If you really, really want to surrender your life to Jesus, or you are a backslider and you want to return to Jesus, come to the altar now. I'm not talking of those who had already come. I'm talking of those who might not be here when the altar call was made. Or backsliders. I'm going to count from 1 to 12. Before I say 12. Please come and stand before the altar. We will pray for your salvation. And pray for restoration. I'm counting now. One. You might be the only one. Don't wait for anybody. Only a jet or it's any kind of you are seeing, but do any can you? Two. A G. Thank you, those of you who are clapping. Your hands will never wither. Three. Four. Five. Seven. AJ. Eight. A jaw. Nine. A song. Ten. Ewa. Eleven. Okola. Hurry up, hurry up. Those of you who are still far away, hurry up. Enjoy your grace and lay out here as well. No, GG. Thank you. Now, those of you already in front, and those of you on the way, cry to the Almighty God. So please save my soul. Have mercy on me. Let your blood wash me clean. I want to ride on the eagle's wings. 
any sin in my life that won't allow me to get on board. Please remove it with your blood. I will serve you for the rest of my life. If you're a backslider, say, Father, I'm sorry I backslid. I'm coming back home. Restore me, Almighty. Restore me fully. Go ahead, cry to God. Those of you on the way, I can see you running, but you have to run a little faster. And the rest of us, please, let's stretch our hands towards these people and pray for them. That the Almighty God will save their souls and He will restore backsliders to Himself. Let's pray for them for about two minutes. Hurry up, those of you are still on the way. Because I'm about to pray for salvation now and restoration. Keep coming. I can see you. Keep coming. I will wait some 10 seconds for you. Thank you, Lord. Keep coming. Keep coming. I can see you running fast. Thank you, Father. Yes, we show. Just make sure you get there before I finish praying. You will see me all right. Just get there before I finish praying. Sorry, you day in to me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Savior, I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for your word. I thank you for all these people who have decided to come forward so that you can cleanse them. Father, please receive them. Wash them clean. Let your blood wash away their sins. Save their souls, Lord. Write their names in the book of life. And Lord God Almighty, I pray for backsliders too that we will take them back. Don't let this your children ever backslide. Uphold them to the end, Lord. And whenever they call on you, please answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the counselors will give you some cards to fill. Because I promise you from now on I'll be praying for you. So I need your name, your so address, and your prayer request. Thank you. Why will you wait for them to finish? I think the choir will worship God.
moment is now. Asikoto lo lewa julo ono re o to se pataki julo. One of the songs surrendered. E kan ninu awon rin ti won ko fun wa. So it is the child who lifts up his arms. O so wi pe omo to ba sipa that the mother will carry. Oni obi e nge Believe me honestly, Lord, me to the Almighty is here now. He's waiting to 
See who wants to be carried. Oh, reti lati ri eni na tu fe ke agbe o. Is listening to see whose cry is going to attract his attention. Oh, reti o teti leko lati ri pe igbe tani. I appeal to you for the next 15 to 20 minutes. More giddy giddy, for she had be made, don't go see, say, oh, go see you. As the altar is declared open, be as if we can't like it. What's what you prepare? I want you to storm the throne of heaven. More fake you, Lord, see what you tell Lord with your prayer. And pray with all your might. Pray with faith. Pray with determination. That tonight, the great ego is going to pick you up. Is going to notice you as you worship him. As you thank him, and then as you cry unto him, Father, please don't pass me by tonight. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Hear my cry tonight, Lord. Answer my prayer. I want you to carry me. I want you to carry me. Cry to him. Cry to him. It's not the kind of prayer you pray quietly. Cry out to him.
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ni orukola Jesus la badura. Daddy, daddy, I thank you, go do pele for all you've done. This past 38 years. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for when we were less than a thousand, you were faithful. Nobody, I Year by year, you had been faithful. Last year, do more do. They think you are to see. In spite of all the efforts of the enemies. Hello. To stop this program. For years causing obstruction on the expressway. That the way that took less than four years to build. It took more than seven years to repair. But you remain faithful. Thank you, my father. Now, daddy, when I said I wanted a miracle for Every member of my congregation. You asked me to gather them. Daddy. Daddy. Tonight. I've gathered them again. Over to you. Baba. Over to you. My Father, my God. Baba, me at your me. Over to you. I've shared your word with them. What is your back me around you, fellow one? To the best of my ability. But now, over to you. That these people might know that you are the one who sent me. Daddy, over to you. Daddy, a beresha in Lukukodo, but you won't go in the war. Carry them. Everyone, carry them. Everyone, everyone. Daddy, you said in your word. Daddy, you no wrong. That concerning the works of your hands. We That we can command you. I'm actually not commanding you to. 
I'm pleading. I'm requesting. Montoro. Carry these people. Yeah. Elijah said, Elijah saw we be on Mount Carmel. Neoriuki, Cameli. That these people may know. We can win you when you go leave. That you are the one who sent me. That I've done all this at your command. Answer by fire. If not down. My father, my God. Baba, me at your At this time, in history, when the world is full of so many false prophets, tonight, so that the world we know. That there are still remnants. We are one country, good to Shaku. Answer by fire. Hey, that one look, and we know. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Let your children go home flying. You are the burden bearer. Carry their bodies. Carry their families. Carry their businesses. Carry their ministries. Please, Daddy, carry them. My Father, my God. Baba, me at your me. You know I will praise you. I will testify. My Jerry, please carry these people. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, you can hear hallelujah.